So when the movie from Matt Walsh of the Daily Wire came out this past weekend, that movie titled Am I Racist came out. One reviewer dared to cross the line and actually put a review out. Because up until I think it was heck yesterday, maybe even today, Rotten Tomatoes had zero critics reviews on the tomato meter. Yeah, there were some reviews that you can go to the critics reviews and click on view all and see. I think there was five of them at the time. But how dare he cross a line and review a movie that we're not politically aligned with? Especially coming from that Istan ism and whatever else you want to call it person, Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire. So how'd that cancel campaign work out for him? How did attacking Jeremy Johns for dare putting a review out of a movie that he's just simply doing his job go for him? Well, Jeremy Johns is on pace to hit 2 million uh, subscribers over on YouTube now. Um, according to Social Blade, come October 3rd, 2024, that's a rough estimate based on the current trend. So all they did was drive more people to check him out. I mean, if you look at this here, he was, he's sitting at 1.98 million. This is uh, the 12th, which would have been last Thursday. Didn't gain anything on Friday. And then he posted his review and bam! Plus 200K, plus 500K, plus 51K, plus another 500K. Campaigns to cancel people don't work anymore. Okay? They just don't. It's been, it's tired. It's been overused. And in fact, more people are waking up to that crap. Um, currently, Rotten Tomatoes has now posted an 80% score on their tomato meter for Am I Racist? The audience scores dripped a little bit. It was at 99% earlier this week. It was at 99% when I posted my last video, which I'll link. I'll throw a link up in the box here. Um, and if you do look at the critics' reviews, there's only two that are rotten. One guy said half-formed at best. And then the other one, of course, is the spider bigger target than the bigoted what is a woman, an industry about profiting off of white guilt, not fighting racism. It shares the same flaws, manipulative editing, lazy jokes, and no curiosity, ending on a thoughtless finale with no call to action. Well, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Now, on Jeremy Johns's um, review, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, the comments here are just great. If you're raging because Jeremy reviewed a movie you don't like for political reasons, you are the problem. If you're hating Jeremy for doing his job, seek therapy. The fact that Jeremy not only reviewed this movie, but left the review up in spite of all the hate that he's getting reminds me why I respect him. Reviews a Daily Wire film. Still unclear what critics' political beliefs are. Now that's how you review a movie. Bingo, we have a winner. Unfortunately, we've, we've come to a time where everything has to be political. We have to know your political leanings. We have to know who you're going to vote for. That, that needs to go away. That needs to change. That needs to go back to what it was. Remember, if you're famous, whether you're in Hollywood or whether you're a famous sports figure, the best thing you can do, it's a little piece of advice here, best thing you can do is just say, you know what? 
I really can't comment on that. I'm not really endorsing anybody. I'm just here to act. I'm just here to play a game. Period. End of story. Jeremy casually having balls of solid titanium. The fact that you reviewed a movie and a large group of political ideologues tried to slander you for being racist is all you need to know about them. Yeah. True. Biggest takeaway is that Superman's disguise actually works, apparently. <laughs> This movie would have never have worked if the people in it weren't so genuinely ridiculous. Yeah, the people that have been deleting their profiles on social media because they've been exposed for the grifters that they are. You can call me a grifter all you want. That's fine. I, I, part of being a YouTuber and creating videos like this is to get views. To share your opinion. And if people agree with you, great. If people don't agree with you, that's fine too. Uh, Matt Walsh put this out there. The left has labeled Jeremy Johns as a racist and a sellout simply for reviewing my film. This is how they play the game. Viciously denounce anyone who positively acknowledges the existence of the film so that other critics will be af too afraid to follow suit. Yeah, it's a scare tactic. It's exactly what it is. I sense this is going to work less and less, especially as they're second-handed promoting the movie themselves, geniuses that they are. The left always tries to silence anything they don't like with slander. Yeah, that's true. It's called Alinsky tactics. Look up. Um, look up Saul Alinsky. Wrote a book about it. A little appreciation post for Jeremy Johns. Unlike most reviewers, Jeremy doesn't shy away from the movies that would be labeled as controversial. He's honest and doesn't involve his own personal beliefs in his videos. Jeremy Johns is the GOAT. Robert By Meyer Burnett. Jeremy Johns has been reviewing movies for the better part of a decade. Am I Racist was the fourth highest grossing movie at the domestic box office on September 15th. Why wouldn't a professional movie reviewer review the film? To not review it is unprofessional. Now keep in mind, these are the same people that are probably posting positive reviews about something they agree with idea in their ideology, which is Agatha all along on Disney+. Plus. See, they agree with everything going on in that show, but heaven forbid, I can't review a movie and leave politics out of it because I don't like, I don't like the politics of this movie. So there you have it. The attempt to cancel Jeremy Johns has, in my eyes, my opinion, it's failed. In fact, it's, it's, it's made him grow. And I'll leave you with this. And if you're watching this long, you may have seen this. I, I've mentioned this in another video. See, Paul Heyman, famous founder of ECW. Famous WWE was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And during his speech, he said something that was rather poignant and that he's been canceled a hundred, a hundred times and he's come back each time. And if they cancel him a hundred and first, he'll come back a hundred and first. And he said, nobody can cancel you. Only you can cancel yourself. So there you go. If you made it this far, leave a comment before you leave. Hit that, hit that thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe if you like what I'm doing. If you like things I'm covering. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. With that, I will see you guys.